In the next two minutes, I'm going to cover what all of the plugins do. The music controller helps blend tracks between scenes. It works with any audio stream player set to a specific audio bus. The UI sound controller helps add sound effects to all of the buttons and other UI elements in your project, or by each specific scene. The credit scene reads attribution from a markdown formatted file and turns it into BB code for a rich text label. It comes with scenes to scroll the credits automatically and an end credits example. The scene loader adds a loading screen for the asynchronous loading of resources. It's especially helpful for games with large scenes and it has a pretty robust error handling. Starting with the menus, we have the input remapping plugin, which is a couple of scenes that can read the project's current action input map and automatically build a remapping UI for the player. Results are persisted between sessions with a saved config file. The options menu includes input remapping and persistent settings, as well as controls for adjusting the input sensitivity, volume on each audio bus, screen resolution, and more. The menus template includes everything already mentioned bundled together. In addition, it adds a main menu, a pause menu, and an opening scene. It also comes with sample themes. Finally, the game template includes the menus template and all of the plugins bundled in it. It adds an example game scene, win-lose screens, levels and level loaders, tutorial windows and managers, and a basic system for handling persistent game state. For now, I recommend first-time users start with the game template and trim down if needed. Going in the other direction typically requires nuking your existing package and reinstalling it in a bundle. And that's it for the current 1.0 release of the game template and plugin suite. Happy jamming!